What's up everyone, this is Brad from DevOps Journey and today we're going to have a look at the Python module Paramico. This is a great module for automating the management of your IT infrastructure. In just a few lines of code, you're able to send commands and pull information to SSH hosts. Getting started is as quick as doing a pip install Paramico, and then after that it's just a few lines of code to send commands to your SSH clients. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started and hop into the code. All right, so I have our Python script open here, main.py, and I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about Paramico to create SSH sessions to clients. So at the very top here, we're importing our modules. The first one is Paramico, which is going to be our SSH client. And then after that, I'm importing Rich, which is just going to make our output look nice and pretty. So after our imports are done, the first thing we're going to do is create a client SSH object. And once we have that client SSH object set, we're going to set some options on that client. So the first thing I'm going to do is load my host keys. So I keep my keys in C users, my username dot SSH. And if you're on Windows, you're probably going to be keeping your SSH keys in the same directory. Just go ahead and change out the username. After that, I set a known host policy. And then underneath here, we have the client connect session. Again, I'm using SSH keys. So all I need to do is specify the IP address and a username. So this is enough to get started. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this into a terminal. So Python terminal open and I can paste and it is connected. Now, one thing I like to do with new Python objects that I'm not too familiar with is I like to use the inspect module from Rich. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna go inspect client and then I'm gonna go methods equal true. And this is gonna tell you all the methods available to that object. So you can see that there's a lot of different things that we can do here. Let's go to the top. You can close the connection, you can connect. We already made the connection. And then we have one here called execute command. So this is gonna be the method that we use to execute a command. We also have a couple different things here. You can see that we can open an SFTP session so we could transfer files if we wanted to. But let's go ahead and just keep it simple and send a command. So I'll hop on over to the code here and I already have some code readily available. So I'm going to copy this line here and paste it in. And basically what it's doing is it's doing the client dot exact command and I'm just sending host name. So I expect that I'm going to get the host name of the remote client returned to me. Now, one thing that I should explain here is I'm actually taking the output of this and sending it to three different variables. So we have standard in, standard out, and standard error. So to go over these really quickly, uh, standard out is basically what the output of the command is going to be. So we expect that to be the host name. Standard error is going to return output if there was any errors on the system. And standard in is something that you use if you want to send more input to the command. So let's go ahead and print out one of these. We'll go print standard out. And you can see that it looks a little strange here. And it's because it's this Paramico channel file object. So what we actually need to do is convert this to text so we can understand it. So I'm going to go to my script here and I'm just going to skip through here. So basically what this is doing is it's taking standard out and standard error. It's reading it and it's decoding it to UTF-8. So this is going to be in a human readable format. Sorry to any of you robots out there. So let's copy and paste this in. Paste it in. And you can see, scroll this up a bit here, you can see that the standard out returns node one and standard error doesn't return anything because the command went through without issues. So perfect, that's exactly the output that we were expecting from this. So another thing I included in this code is checking standard out for success status. So you can use this to just test to make sure that you get good output. Basically, if you copy and paste this in, you should get a return code of zero. You can set an if statement that if you get anything other than a zero, then you know the command failed. Okay, let's scroll down. So I have a note here. Um, because the standard in, standard out, and standard error are actually file objects, we should always close them out. So to do that, we do copy and paste it here, and we close them out. 
And then when you're done with the SSH session, you should always close it out. Don't leave it there hanging. Your remote host will not appreciate it if you have a bunch of SSH sessions just sitting there hanging without being closed out properly. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this in. And our SSH session is closed out. So that's how easy it is to use the Paramico SSH client. I'm going to go ahead and have a look at our other example script here. And this is going to show you how you could do some automation with the SSH client. So I'm in the other script here named get host names, and you can see that we're doing our import. And then I have a list of hosts and I'm going to iterate over these hosts, connect to them and grab the host name. So at the start here, we're just going over each host in this list and then we're creating the SSH client session and we're loading up all our settings and then doing the connection. After that, we set our standard in, standard out and standard error and we send in the command hostname. After we send our hostname, we do a quick check to make sure that the receive exit status is zero. If it is, we print out our standard output. If we get anything other than the zero status, then we send the standard error. At the end of the loop, we close out the standard ins and outs, and then we close out the SSH session. So a very simple example, but you could easily change this command to anything and do it on any number of hosts. So let's go ahead and run this. So I'll go Python get host names. And you can see that it did it for node one, node two, and node three. And we can easily change the command here and that should change our output. So let's put that in and we're gonna get the full Linux information here. So a very cool way to automate anything that has a SSH terminal. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you wanna learn more about Python, DevOps, or automation, go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.